Welcome. This is Kelso with the Grim Reapers. Today, I'll be showing you the pass-through mode of the Pimax Crystal and a few other things on the following list. Let's get started. Pass-through mode uses the lower resolution head tracking cameras located on the lower front of the headset. A rapid double tap on the side of the headset activates it. Another double tap deactivates it. Here's a combination of three different phone videos showing my SIM space, both with and without blinky lights on the HOTAS controls. Based on what I've seen in the net, I was pleasantly surprised that the in-person view was clearer than expected. It's not perfect, but typing by touch and 10 key is helping. Pass-through mode is sufficient to identify family, pets, and monsters that may sneak into your cockpit at critical moments. Getting up close and personal with the small stuff also helps. As you can see in the last two examples, pass-through requires room lights to be effective. And that smudge in the middle of the lens is my fault. Since late August 2023, I've had about four standard and beta updates. Each one has improved the crystal, with the latest providing pass-through and a stable startup and shutdown experience. VR in general is a pain to learn, as the process requires lots of reading in the various forums. Based on current performance, I think they're pretty darn close to another standard update. I wear readers. If you do, I recommend buying a thicker face pad to avoid scratching your lenses. Ask me how I know. I ordered the Crystal 15mm and the VR Cover 16mm face pads along with Hans VR prescription lenses. Both pads worked, but the Crystal pad stood off the lenses farther because it didn't compress as much. Hans VR lenses are fantastic. They made the view razor sharp. I'll discuss my reader odyssey in another video. I've had the crystal for a bit over five months now. I admit, I'm a fan, not only with the hardware, but with everyone I've come in contact with at Pimax. They are a driven group of people. Reading the forums every day, I understand people's frustration. VR is hard to learn, as there are lots of videos out there providing different information. My best recommendation, no matter what you're using, pick your video by date, because they will provide the most current and pertinent content available. I'll likely do one more video showing their new comfort top strap and the wider FOV lenses when those arrive. You can find links to my previous Pimax videos below, along with the aftermarket products you saw here. Thank you for your time. 